Welcome to Tanakh Talk. I'm your host, William Hall, broadcasting live from Kingdom, Texas, USA, with another episode of Learn Biblical Future Joseph, the man in the Moha. Welcome back, my friend. How are you? Hello. Yep. Uh, uh, we are live on the air. Got a pop quiz for you guys today, so I hope you're ready. Hope you've been. Uh, hope you took that last episode two weeks ago and took some time to memorize, get yourself familiar with the alphabet or alphabets, if you want to call it that. Sure, and, exactly. Uh, right on. Well, the re- the reason for this quiz, guys, if you're wondering, it's not like to see like in a school. It's actually for yourselves. So if you're looking at what the, the stuff that me pop, the stuff that's me popping up, just it's for yourself. Don't you know? If you do anything, just look at it, see if you actually figure it out. So see if you get it right. right so it is. It's not like I'm gonna really know if you get it right or wrong. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's, that's for you guys. You guys are you know, the people who are really trying to do this. Will understand that. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Very, very key in memory. Exactly. So I think this is where you're headed with us today. So looking forward to this. Well, I want to make sure people are you know. I want to go before I move forward to the yep. more. That, that this is the most basic stuff they have to know. You know what I mean? Adabe, welcome. Terry Tanner, Leanne, Leanne Jones, welcome. Welcome back. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. Paul Brill, thank you for joining us and dropping in right about now. Uh, so, I think what's happening is when people come in later, they actually can still watch it from the beginning, even though we're halfway through it. So, because I, I watch people's comments from time to time, and right. I'm looking at questions that come up, and I'm thinking. Where did that question come from? It actually came from like 10, 15 minutes earlier in the show. So I think that people tuning in can actually watch it as they go along. So, oh, 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 you said you can't hear me, really? Like at all? I might hear you. <laughs> Hold on. So Adabe says we can't hear you. Okay, let me let me turn my mic up some more. Check one, two, testing. <laughs> oh, Shazam scared Ooh, the fire out of me. Good Lord. Oh, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> my microphone got in the way earlier, and I turned it upside down. And now, now it was facing the wrong way. So, okay, gotcha. now, now it's actually facing me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Adabe, hopefully that's better. Okay, Lowe's, thank you. That's what it was, Adabe. I had my mic was it's sitting at an angle like this. What, how you see it? Like this, but it was flipped upside down, so it was pointing over my head. It wasn't actually pointing towards my face. So there we go. All right, it sounds better now. Definitely better now. Okay, thank you, John. Appreciate that. All right, we, we will not hold you up any longer. Uh, Joseph, let's go ahead and kick this thing off. I'll put it full screen and let you have the floor. Okay, so let me explain what's going on now. So I'm putting up slides, and basically you'll see there'll be multiple choice. It'll have the letter that we – all the letters of Hebrew that we've been going over. And I told you guys how to, you know, like to practice them, how to practice them, and just see for yourselves if you get them right. That's it. That's, a, right. that's, a, that's the purpose of this. All right, so we'll start out. I'll leave. How long should I leave the slide up? You think for like um, half, 30, 30 seconds is enough? Is that enough time for you guys? That's probably. Uh, I'm thinking more like fifteen, maybe. I would think that's the f- thirty seconds. Is quite a lot is quite a while. All right, so sense. fifteen seconds. It we'll is. try fifteen. If it goes too fast, let us know. Uh, he will. He will definitely tone it down and slow it down for you. The good All thing right. is, uh, like I said, we're gonna watch it, watch it through, and then go back and watch it again, and just take your time. You could pause it. And really right. think it through, you know, really just kind of try to focus on it. It's all about the shapes, shapes yeah. and what the, you know, so. This is for you. You shouldn't be looking at anything. This is for you. Just be looking at the screen and knowing. Right. Hey, so you do Same have, uh, I see an overlay. Yep. That thing right there. Okay, cool. All right. So well, here we go. We're going to switch over now. And there is your first question. Question one, is it Kuf, Kaf, or Tzadi? I'll let you ask the questions. I'm going to, I'm going to mute myself so you can move yep. on forward. Here we go. So that's it. You see, you see the first one. See if you guys get it. I'll, at the end of it, I'll go over them which one the right answers were. But after 15 seconds, I'll actually give you the answer. This way, we uh, see if you guys got it right or wrong. So this is the first question. I'll give you guys five more seconds. And we'll repeat the letter, re- repeat the options, so you get familiar with the sound of the names. Exactly. Kuf, kaf, tzadi, ts, like like cats in. The roof. <laughs> so, hey, William, what's the answer? Come on, let's see if you uh, got it. Uh, it would be, I would say, a coof. <laughs> <laughs> Are you right? Oh, I'm always right. No, I'm not yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm right, I'm right in this. I'm right this time. <laughs> if the guy is the answer, this is coof. Coof. You haven't gotten it? Just so you see it? Yep. And the next one? And it makes this. It makes the coof sound. So... That's that's the key. The letters, the names, of the letters are indicators as the sound it makes too. So there you go. 
All right. Okay, we got the second question on? Yep. Let's see, give you guys another 10 seconds. I'm going to have you answer all them at the end. Okay. That well. That's cool <laughs> by me. I, I, need to be, I need to go through this myself anyway. Exactly. All right, five more seconds. Yeah, and you guys say it out loud, too. You're by yeah, yourself, exactly. but pronounce it. Use your lips and your tongue and make these sounds, okay? When you're actually reading this, he's right. Like, when you see this, okay, you can say the answer, and I'll explain. What's the answer, Will? Uh, resh. Exactly. So when you're looking at this, you should actually say resh. Exactly. Right. So, so, so you get the... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, so um, it's it, the, the sound, the, the way you phonetically pronounce this letter is not like in Spanish with the R, like, with the tip of your tongue, but it's from the back of your throat. Like you're gargling water. Or like a gargling scope in the bathroom. That that that's sort of the, that's sort of what the sound you make to make the race sound. So it's but it's race. It's like it's like the equivalent to the letter R, which looks like a backwards R. So that's kind of worked out nice. Yeah, that would be. Is it? Hold on, you're saying that it's blurry. No, it looks pretty clear. I'm no, it looks clear. Screen. If it's blurry on your end, guys, you may have a buffering issue. Yeah, because it's. I'm looking through my phone, and it looks very okay. clear. Okay. Okay, so Andrea, I'm not sure what you're answering to. Resh is longer. What do you mean, resh is longer? Uh, Andrea, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Please, please comment there. It's like a yod, a longer yod, I guess. Is that what you're right. trying to say? You, you know, you, you try to zoom in a tiny bit more and make it a little bit bigger. Yes, sir, David, what's up? Oh, um, can, we, um, can me and Sarah and Haley and Maya go with Uncle Chris Derek in my truck? Okay. okay. Uh, actually, y yeah, just... Be very cautious. Okay, we got the next one. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, thank you. Okay, there you go. Yep, and then uh, so actually, you know, keep it right there. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a favor on my side. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make an adjustment, which will affect every single one a little better. There we go. And that way, you can see the letters even a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. So question three. Looks like a looks like a letter N, but I'm gonna zoom into this one like really close, just because I want you to see it up close. It looks like an N, kind of a cross between an N and an X, right? It's kind of like a, yeah, a, a yeah. merge between the two. Um, so, okay, have we hit 15 yet? 15 when seconds. You, yeah, yeah, 15 seconds has passed. Okay, cool. Sorry. My son came in. I had to I had to answer his question. So, so that would be Aleph. So you have Gimel, Dalit, or Aleph, and that would that be, is Aleph, correct. be Aleph, and which is that's typically a, a silent, one of the two silent letters usually, right? Correct. There you go. Okay, awesome. All right. I'll let you ask the question, and you can pronounce your A, B, and C. Next question. Yeah. Five more seconds. Just look at it for yourselves. We'll answer your question in a second. Was he asking? Are you uh, confirmed the episode have words? Are we focusing on letters for today? Well, John, I want to make sure people are ready to move on forward. I don't, there's no point in teaching a class and people are still lost about on the letter side. You know, there's certain ways you got to prepare a class. You That's a great question. That is a good question, John, by the way. But, yeah, we're just focusing on letters because this is the very beginning. We're not doing spellings yet because we haven't got into the Nikudot. Uh, which is the vowel systems or anything yet. So we're, right now we're teaching the very beginning stages. This is technically episode two, even though this is like the third or fourth show. This is this is yeah. actually episode two. And this is like we went over the, all the letters in the first one. And right now we're going, uh, there's been two weeks that has passed where people can uh, review that video over and over again until they get these letters familiar. And now this is kind of a pop quiz uh, where we're at right now. So yeah. So question four. So would be, right. That would be a tet. So you have tet. Taf and Yud. And Yud is there yeah, incorrect. That, this that is would a, be tet. a Tet. Yes. Very good. Okay. Question five. See, this might be tricky for people. <laughs> Let me see this one. Yeah, it's a it's a font issue yeah. here. No, that's not fine. I mean, it's the right size, but I can no, see. No, I mean, them, not not, f not yeah. font size, but the font itself, the font, I, the the style of font. Because it looks, I mean, so like like this would be, so you have pay, vav, or ayin. And so in this case, it would be a vav. But most of the time, I'm going to zoom in on this. Don't, you don't do anything here. I'm going to zoom in. In this in this particular font, it looks like a straight line. But if, in the, the more um, familiar Hebrew font, you'll see the top 
uh, of it will have a curve, slight curve to the left, just a little bit. Um, so, but this is just a, this is more of a simple font. So that's kind of how that works out. All right. I think there's enough time. What is it, Will? Okay, so that would be Wait. the let, that would be the letter Vav. Correct. Vav. I need to just resume back down again. Hang on a second. There we go. Boom. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. All right. I still see the Vav. Oh no, no, no you changed no, you it. Don't. Oh, <laughs> I, it. I thought you did. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. The <laughs> answer was uh, because the letter is kind of small, and there's no lines to delineate or to to really express how what the change happened was. So you guys saw the line is now longer. If if you could see, if you really pay close attention, the line is actually taller now. It's a lot taller than it was. Yeah. A little so, longer. so in this case, it's going to be a final nun, a dalit, or a bet, and of course, this would be a nun final. Exactly. It's funny if you look at the certain three letters, it would be yud, vav, and final nun. It's right. like different sec, you know, small, medium, and large. In that, you know, what I'm saying. Gotcha. Because they all, they all like sort of look the same. Yep. But like different fonts of different sizes. Right. That's awesome. Okay. okay. I'm We're to question mind. number seven. Okay. I'm trying to mute my phone so it'll stop making noises. Okay. Question seven. Is it a final pay, final tzadi, or final mem? Give you guys a chance. Ten seconds is probably good. All right. Think about All right. Okay, go ahead. All right. What would it be? I actually have an idea, too. So you guys, as you're watching this thing, uh, assume, maybe we should assuming everybody's the watching chat. live. Yeah, and like, you guys can answer in the chat after the ten seconds. See there you, you go. Did. There you go. Okay, so question seven. Right, there you go. That would be a final mem. Final mem. Correct. Just to start the next one, let them answer. We'll see if they get it right. Okay. Okay, this is a final mem, correct. Oops, I switched. That's okay. for eight. Ah! Where the hell's eight? I don't know, question number seven was the final. Yep, we did that one. That one and one half. This is why it's going on. You might have skipped. You might have actually skipped that one. That's okay. They, they right, we'll come back to it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, they don't have to be in order. So. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. It doesn't have to be in order. Doesn't okay. Matter. Cool. All right. So question nine. Top what, shin what or eight? lamid? All right, Pete. Let's see if you guys get it right. Yep. You guys answer in chat. Okay. So is this a tough, a shin, or a lamid? You and guys just, should answer as fast as you know. You don't have yep. to wait. And there you go. That's Andre. Uh, John at Andre Shin. Shin. There's two shins, right? Yeah, that's right. Shin Shin. That's, yep, that's right. You guys nailed it. You guys, yeah, you guys are good. Awesome. There we go. Cool. You guys are doing good. All right. Next is... Okay. Okay, again. Uh, question 10. Is this a Chet, Dalit, or Aleph? Let's see if you guys know. Chet, Dalit, or Aleph? We should have the what's it called the wheel the the what's that game show? Exactly, that's Jeopardy. What is it? <laughs> okay, everybody's nailing it. Good deal. Looks like they're becoming either already familiar, or nice, that's good, correct. or they're learning. Either way, that's great. Very good nice. Job. Okay, so this one here. So is it a gimel, a kaf, or mm -hmm. is it high noon's drifter? <laughs> is it a noon? High noon's drifter. I hear that. <laughs> There you go. Gimel, Kaf, Nun. Well, they're on fire. They're looking good. Gimel, that's correct. Yep. Yeah, nice. So good, so far, so good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They're doing good so far. Moving on. Okay. Okay, so this is a backward C looking thing. Is it a Chet, a Kaf, or Vav? Chet, and that Chet. You, pr <laughs> you you pronounce it like you're like it's like a hissing cat like <laughs> so it's a hard that's a very hard letter to pronounce yeah, usually for uh, people who are not like born into reading Hebrew. Okay, so, so they always say the H sound. Okay, John says chet. Uh, Terry Tenner says kaf. Luz says kaf, and the answer is kaf. Very that's cool. That's a kaf. Kaf. Remember, chet was the other one. Yep. Did I don't know if we got the cut yet. I don't think that we did. Cuff. Yeah, we no, didn't. We did. that, yet. that is cuff, correct. We ever got that. Yep, very good. Good job, Devarian. John, S star. Luz. All right, I'm looking good. Do I have the rest of the oh I guess do this. I gotta go down, hold on. That's okay. It's a little uh Hold on, 
a second. Let me do it from the folders. See, I don't like it this way. This way. I'm... Yeah, maybe it just be you that way. Yeah, Actually, you know what? Hey, I have an sure. idea. Just open that and don't change the size. Let me try to change the size on my side because I might be able to do it faster. Just what open it, it and let me let me do this. Oh, actually, it's it's fine the way it is. But that was one we already did though. Yeah, we'll just do a fifteen. We'll skip skip around. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, there you go. Right. We did the, Did we do this one already? No. Okay, cool. So, all right. So here we go. We got a Samak bet or lamid. Samak bet or lamid. What do you guys think in chat? Yeah, you're right, Andrea. It looks like connected hay. I can see that. Yep. Lamed, Terry Tanner. Let's see. So far, we got one Lamed. Luz, Lamed, John Lamed. Look at Emily. that. Uh, excuse me, Emlyn. Okay, everybody agrees. Hope, John. Uh, oh, wait, John says blank, not black. I'm not sure what you're referring to there. Yeah. Star Lamed, very good. Yeah. Looking nice. good. Looking good so far. Twelve. We did. We did that one already. Yeah. No, I just gotta scroll down now when I do this. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. That's a good one. All right. So, is this one gonna be a final pay? Uh -oh, ah, what happened there? What happened? Final pay, final <laughs> tzadi, or final mem? Pay tzadi mem on the final. Okay, pay. we got one final pay. Very good. Lamed. Okay, keep on coming. Keep on coming. Where do you see Lama? They didn't say Lama in there. <laughs> Terry Tanner. Liam Wright, uh, the letters are the same. The words are, are slightly different from modern to biblical or contemporary to biblical. Okay, it's final pay. Good. Final pay, final pay. Yep, very good. So, right. yep, this is definitely a pay. It looks kind of like a backwards, lower, backwards P, so that might help you a little bit. Pay, P. Yeah. Oh, let me answer a question here. Is biblical Hebrew different to modern Hebrew? There's some similarities, but there's some yeah. The modern there's some words in the modern Hebrew that are not in biblical. There's a lot more words in modern Hebrew. <clears throat> okay. All right, here we go. You got Zion, Gimel, or Hey. Okay. Zion, hey. Gimel, <laughs> Hey. Hey, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. All right, what do we got here? Zion is uh, one option. Razel, it's okay. We, we, we're not too late. Um, okay, John late. says Zion. Terry Tanner says Zion. Looking good so far, guys. That's it. Yep. Okay, now, Luz, uh, now, that may have been a typo. It's not TZ. It's just Z, like a Z sound yeah. only. Uh, the the Tzadi has the TZ or TS sound. Zion. I see why she's doing I see what's going on, though. It could be Zion because it's it is Z. Yep. Z, Z would be Zane. Right. So to Zion. To Z, yeah. I mean, it's but yeah, Z, Z would be the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Easy. I see. I see what, what the way she was thinking. Awesome. Oh, back to 12, right? Yep. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that. That guy really wants to stick around. <laughs> oh, 13. Here we go. All right. You want to zoom in? Yeah. There you go. All right, scroll. Uh, actually, let me do that. My side. Oh yeah, scroll down some. I can't see part of the letter. No, there is the letter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I look like a. Oh, I'm used to seeing it question. Okay, so yeah, that is the letter. Dude. Okay, so there you go. Uh, tet, tet yud, yud or mem. mem? Tet yud mem. What do you got, guys? Oh, they already picked it off. Yud yud. Yep, same thing. Good job. Good job. Terry, John, yeah. em Emlyn. Nice, Luz. Very good. Nice. I'm Joseph, they're, they're killing it tonight. They're killing it today, yeah. Very good. It's good. It means they're, they're, they're actually doing the... They're looking at the, they're doing the work. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, all right, let me just get this up here. There we go. Boom. Okay. Is this a hey, a samech, or aleph? Or is it an o? <laughs> they should, well, you know, I should have had that. It would have been funny. Yeah, <laughs> letter O. <laughs> yeah, now, now again, this is a font, so uh, just um, yeah, it's it's a different font than what I'm used to seeing. But it, but but once you're familiar with letters, you can tell by yeah. by process of elimination which one it is. So, all right, looks like you got a samech all across the board. Very nice, very nice. Correct. That is a samech. Correct. Samech. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. This next one. Kaf chet or Reish. 
think we did this one already, but let's see. We'll do it uh, again. We'll see if they get it right. Yeah, that's okay. We can definitely bounce back and forth. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. It's like the hay, like like Andrea said, it's like a right. clo closed off hay. You could almost say, "What the heck?" <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't want to like open up when I go scroll down on this. It's not opening up the. You could all, you could just go back to your main file page. Yeah, that's it. what I'm instead doing. Of, instead like of using it. the uh, pre open ones, close them all off and just select it off of your ma main file page if you want. Yeah, to. it's not. It's easier like that. Yeah, there you go. That'll See, work. Now, now they're not opening. Well, hold on a second. Let me just close all those windows. Nice. Now we do it like that. There you go. We did that one. Okay. There we go. Just, just, yeah, we're up to here. Perfect. Now I can do it in the order. There okay. we go. All right. There you go. So, what do you have here? You got Aleph, Yud, or Hey? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Aleph, Yud, or Hey? Actually, with Rizel, it's Yud or Yod. You could say it however you want to. It's, they're both kind of correct, really. Yud, Yod. Uh, yeah. Depends on the kudo, I guess. It's like saying, is it Tav or Sav? <laughs> it's not really the same, but it's, it's, you know, there you go. We got a lot of Hez. Yeah, <laughs> got a lot of Hez. Hey, hey, hey. I like it. Very good. Hope, John, Estar, Rizel. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Question 22. Is that a nun, a mem, or a chet? Nun, mem, uh, or chet? I think it's a moon. A moon? <laughs> a full yeah. moon. <laughs> yeah, I got a full moon. <laughs> there you go. So is it nun, mem, or chet? Okay, so Devarian says hey. Terry says nun. John, nun. Emlin, Emlin, nun, nun. And the proper answer would be nun. You sure been nun. Very good. Oh, that's, that's a good one, yeah. 12 o'clock, Terry. <laughs> Terry Tanner, that's, that's a good one. He says 12 o'clock, high noon. Okay. High noon. All right, so next up, Mem Tet Kuf. Mem Tet Kuf. And keep in mind, like I said, remember, the, the name of the letters, the first letter in that is the sound you're just going to give you. So this one would make the, that's right, Terry Tanner, John, Razel, Mem, that's correct. What's so, the question mark, Razel? You be sure, but be sure of the answers. No question marks. There you go. <laughs> Bay, Mem, good. Raymond Reef, good to see you, brother Raymond. How are you, man? All right, good deal. Everybody's on target. There you go, Mem on everything. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. Very nice. You're right. It is Mem. Right. That's what I'm saying. Be sure of it. There you go. There you go. I think we're good. I think we did all of them. Makes the must sound. Let me see one, two, three. I think like we skipped must one. memorize Here. the Mem. You did that one. Hold on. I think we skipped one of these. Let me just make sure we did that. You can bounce back and forth, like just randomly click random ones after we finish from top to bottom. You know, I don't think we did this one right here. Okay, so here we go. It, that looks like a race, like a it long It looks one. like a race, yeah, the, like the yeah. race, right? So it's final tzadi, final pay, final kaf. Tzadi pay kaf. This one might be tricky for them. Let's see if they get it. Uh, everyone's wrong. So no wait now, now. Before you answer, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna give you a hint. I'm gonna give you a hint. So, the final letters, like a, a, on at least a couple of them anyway. I have to look at them to confirm all of them. It's like they take. I'm, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch screens. Don't don't touch your screen yet. It's like they take. Let's see. I'm gonna use the wrong hand. So it's like they take. Like this would be. Ah, camera. Where's my camera? Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So whether it's a nun, like like the nun would be shaped like this, like it's just like. Here and straight down, or actually, and it comes over the sh well, actually this way, the short nun. Well, right. it's like they take that bottom leg and you fold it down to where it's longer. So in this particular image, what they did was they took the this right here. This is the this is the cuff, and they took this and they folded it down to where it's like a straight line now. So now you've got this shape here, right? Because this used to be like anyway, it's hard to do with my hands. But so now with that said. Going back to the imagery, is it a tzadi, a pay, or a kaf? That's the key. A couple of more. Couple of looks more. like sign language in Hebrew. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And the answer would be it's a final kaf. So the, the regular kaf looks like a C, and as you can see, the top one looks like a race. It's like a curved 
over, and a cough would curve back like it would form a backward C. We take that bottom curve and flatten it out and bring it straight down. There's your final cough. Nope, not a pay. Uh, the pay actually has, oh, that's one I can't wait. To, I want to show you something really cool about the pay once you get there. Okay, yeah, that's that's the final pay there. This is different because it's got a drop down and a hook underneath it. We did this one right there. Yep. yep. So, um, so Razel, that's this this that one. The pay has a drop down on the left side and a hook under. So, uh, so it's not the same one. Good deal. Okay. I think we went through all the letters. Okay, so actually, you didn't do the regular pay, did you? I did. Go back to it if you don't mind. Uh, I should have wrote them down. Which one's what? Which I didn't do. I'll find it. Okay. I'll tell you what I can do. I can do this right here. I can, I've can. i already got something else I could pull up and show them uh, on screen to show. It's kind of a neat thing to look at. Uh, well, if I could get to it. There it is right there. Okay. So here, while you're doing that, I'm going to share a different screen, okay? All right. All right. Go ahead. Do good? Okay. So let me get rid of a lower third as well because it's actually covering up part of it. Okay. So with this one here, um, this, I don't know if you can see the mouse moving around. Okay, here we go. So this pay, this is the, this is the pay fay right here. You can see my little circle with the double arrow in it. The best way to remember this or how this is made is if you rotate it 180 degrees, it looks like the letter capital letter G. I mean, if you write the letter G and flip it upside down, you get the perfect letter pay. I'm ready. So, yeah, oh, you found it. Yeah. So let me let me let me switch back. So I want to show you how it's written in that font. Same thing. There you go. Okay. So that's it right there. You can you can even see like now if you could rotate it 180 degrees, is it a tzadi, a tet, or a pay? So let me go back to my live stream. Make sure I get everybody. So there you go. Uh, okay. So guys, if this is your this is the last letter we have, I think right now. So does this say tzadiyah, tet, or pay? That's the question. Well, one, I mean, I hear the, let's see if they get it right. You're just talking about it. Very good. Lewis, okay, very good. Lewis says pay. Um, oh, John, sorry. That's, uh, if you can't see it on the mobile, got it. John, good. Yep, John got it. Pay as well. Very nice. Awesome. Terry Tanner, pay. Hope. Very good. Exactly. Very cool. And and so so keep it right there. So payday, this, payday. <laughs> there you go. And so and, and keep now here's the thing. So look at the way it's shaped. I'm gonna go back to this other screen. Where'd it go? Oh, I got it covered up. Hang on one second. I'm gonna go back to the other screen I showed you a second ago with all the letters on one. And then I wanna show you um, how we talked about that lower leg like being like dropping down to to create the final letter. So like here is the, this has the little hook, the hook. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see, where's my mouse at? Okay, here we go. All right, you can see it now. So this is the, this is the pay or fay. You can see it starts here upside down. A big hook goes up and around and it cuts over, right? Well, this one, all it does is take this that was here and it folds it down like a drop, like a hatch door, drop hatch door. Same thing with your, with your nun. Like here's the nun here. It starts, hooks over. Drops down, and it has a thing that comes across the bottom. Well, over here, that finally just drops it straight down. It's like a like a little trap door just drops hinges right there on the bottom, drops straight down, and so you'll see that a lot. Sadi, same thing. Here's your sadi, right? Oh, that's one we didn't do either, by the way. Sorry. Um, this little this cutover part, the final letter, it doesn't cut over. It just drops straight down. So it's it's very common for that to happen. So, uh, Joseph, go ahead. I uh, know with, with the letters, we're done with the letters. Okay, cool. So, all right, so, um, all right, I've got me and you well, back I don't know if I wanted to go on intro, should I start out with the beginning, maybe like the vowels right now a little bit? Just give a little introduction to it? Sure, go for it. I've, I can put these so on the screen on my I side ask if the you people want to. If ready, if the people are ready first. Well, uh, they can always go back. We could This this one could be the pop quiz plus the Nicodote, and that way they can see it because we're at a 30-minute mark, so... You could go ahead and move on to vowels, and the first 30 minutes is the pop quiz. Second 30 minutes is just introduction to the vowels. If you want to do that, you can. Um, yeah, we I, could do that. I can use. I could, I could do an introduction to vowels and to make him a concept okay. for, for, the, well, for them to understand it. How I've it works. got it on the screen, so you don't worry about toggling anywhere. I'll just do it on my side, um, and then you can. I'll bring him up if you want to. Can you see the YouTube on your side, Joseph? 
the YouTube? Yeah, the, the actual, yep. Yeah, I see it on my phone. Okay, cool. So you can see what I'm putting up now. Right. And then you can comment along the lines of whatever's on screen if you want to. Perfect. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. That's perfect. I could do that. Okay. Okay, fine. So the way the vowels work is like this. And think about it in our language, for instance, right? We, what do we have? A, O, E, U. What, a, are, the, what are vowels in our language? A, E, I, O, U, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit different the way it works over here. Every single letter has a certain sound that comes with it, right? You have an A sound, an U sound, an S sound. Now, you're going to have little dots. You see on the bottom of this picture that we have here that he has? There's little dots on the bottom. You'll have one that looks like a plus sign, like a half a plus sign. You have two dots. You have one that looks a minus sign. Right, so each one of these have a name for it, right? Whether to know the name for them, it's up to you whether or not to. But more important, I feel like to get, know what sound comes out of them, right? So when you see a certain letter, like let's say you see a yud, like the first letter he has on top, right? And the yud has the shiva, which is the two little dots down, right? Where, where, where are you looking at? Sorry. On your page that you're showing. Oh, the yud here. What about it? On top. So I'm saying, you see how look at look at the shiva. Oh, the shvah here, yes. The first one, two dots down. Right. More two to the right. I can't read it. Hold on. Let's see what that say. Yeah, shvah, the first one. Right. That's where I'm at now, right? It's blurry a little on my end. I can't really read it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So the two dots down. So when, let's say, so we should start out with the letter Aleph, actually. That's why I have this. Hold on a second. I have something better for you. Okay, me... okay cool. Let me, I'll switch to your screen. Oh, one second. Wait a second. I got one second. Let me just get it up. Yeah, that's cool. I'd rather you take control of it anyway. Exactly. But the, uh, where is the Aleph? Okay, here we go. This okay. is perfect, I think. Let me see if you can see this. Okay, yep. Uh, it's... Is it visible? It is. Or... It's good. I'm, I'm not, you leave it there. I'm going to zoom in, and I'll scroll onto whatever you're talking about at the time, okay? Okay. Okay, so Aleph. Okay, so I'm going to go to the very top. It was a little blurry, I think. That's okay. Um, give me one second. I got, uh, guys, yeah, I'm going to the top of this thing. Much of this stuff. Okay, there we go. Try it now. Look at your YouTube All channel. All right, now. so you see, so I think it's better to do So you see the Aleph. Look at the Aleph. Pay attention to it. Each Aleph has a different symbol under it. You see? Oh, I see what you're doing now. Let me, let me zoom in yeah, some more. Hang that's on. better. Like, I don't want to switch around letters. Let's start off with one letter at a time. Okay, good. Okay. See? So there's a, the one that looks like a half a plus sign. Right? Yep, like a T, capital T. Right. We make the uh. That's an uh sound when you see that. So Aleph. Right? This would be Aleph with the vav. I mean with a minus sign under. It's a patach. The kamets would be the half a plus sign. Right? A patach would be the one that looks like a minus sign. Right so this there. is where I'm on. This is where I get to learn something now. <laughs> So the right. I was the the kamats uh, or the kamats and the patach, I was I, I learned that they make the same sound but one is stronger. Like one would be uh, like like Paul, like you would say P A W, and the other the other one would be fa like ah like father ah and all, ah. like yeah. Paul Aleph and like <laughs> father and Paul same letter in in English right. a but they have a little deeper or sharper or shall you say a flatter or sharp in music different tone. So is that is that right or is that wrong or how how do I process Hold that? On. They can't hear anything. One second, they said they can't hear. Not hearing the vowel lecture. You don't hear any sound. It's coming through the system. Hold on, let me see if I hear it on the phone. They can't hear anything. One second, they said they can't hear. Not hearing Not the hear. Oh, you know what? You know what? I think I know what it was. Hold on. I think whenever uh, there there was a spot. Whenever I brought up a different screen, and I might on that screen, I might not have had the audio turned on on that over screen overlay. That might have been my fault. So there might be a little blank spot. But now we've got it. Now we're good. We should probably have this open also with that. Hold on, this little picture right here as well. Okay. You see that? Yep. This is. Oh yeah, actually, pull it in the center. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me zoom out on this one. That's actually a good one right there. Yeah, this one they can see all the. Sound oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was saying. So the, the, uh, so you got nine of them. Let me. So you zoom you out. could freeze the images. I can't do that. So the way you could freeze this to the side, and I could take it off my. I can move it somewhere else. Does that work like that uh, or not? Actually, no. No, right? No, just actually, if you use this, this is good. Uh, without the letters, you could. This is to me when I started learning the vowels. This, I, this is what I use, something like this, without letters. I just learned. Yeah, you're right. And the next one, I could put it with the letters. Yep. So we right. That's yep. good. So. We do that. 
So on your top left, it's the A sound, the two dots side by side. It's called the tseri. So the vowel, it like the letters, like the, the consonants, the name of the consonant, the very first letter is the sound it makes. Well, in vowels, the first vowel you hear in the word is the sound it makes. Like this would be tseri, so it makes an A sound. Right. Right. And then you have the patach, which is the next one in the middle, the straight line, the minus symbol. Ah, patach. And then the kamats, which is the all, like the all, the deeper, hard, like a more complete. And then the second row, the single dot, right? All right. Let me give. Let me say something. So with this, do you guys see it now? What I'm going to do is, for the next class, I'm going to prepare a slide that's going to go through in detail all these little symbols you see here. So don't think that you, this is like we're just stopping here with that. This is just to look at them, see what they look like. Same concept that when you learn the letters. Remember, you have to look at the letters. This is a really like. good one, by the way. I like yeah. I like the one you brought in here right now. This is great. Yeah, so this one right here, I just want to get familiar with these little dots, what they look like. And next class, I'm going to basically go through the dots and explain them. You understand? So it's not nice. too much at once. Remember, because I have to remember yeah, this is a beginner's point. class. I will say yeah. this. <laughs> on the bottom two left ones, you guys right. could see the uh, the the cholam was as a cholam and a shuruk, so right. right uh, so the letter it's using the consonant that letter vav. If you notice in the pop quiz, it was a straight line. This is a straight line with a little bit of a hook on the top left. This is that's the more common way you'll see this if you see it. Uh, depend unless you're reading from a newspaper or magazine. That's more. This is the more common form or the font, if you will. So, uh, but you can see how. It would be easy to figure out this is not a Samic or it's Adi because the, the the bulk of the shape is a straight line with a little hook at the top. So, anyway, just want to throw that in there. No, that's true. So, basically, so every single sound, or one of the, every, every one of these shapes, like I said, makes a sound. As you see, look at the C, ah. See, is this sound? Look at the well, and, ah, soft. This is what William was trying to explain to you a little bit earlier, right? Is that what you were trying to explain to them? Yes, sir. How they're both the same but different. Right. One goes long, right? This would be A when you see that. And this is eh. This is also sort of similar, and in a way. But um, I think well, when you see them in the actual letters, that's the way it works. Actually, let me go back a sec. Okay. <clears throat> when certain letters are near each other, right? Certain certain letters in the alphabet, which I will have a, a chart and stuff. I'm not going to tell them which ones they are now because it's going to confuse you. They make different sounds according to what letters after it. Also, with the actual um, the kudot. Okay. You just have that on your mind as a thought, right? So that that one you just hovered over the the center the the the, the center bullseye one right there. So <laughs> that's the shva. The colon semicolon. Yeah. Yes. So so here's why I need to learn. This is something else that I need to learn personally. So I've always taught that when you see that underneath any letter, it's a shva. So the sh meaning sh be quiet. Like sh, it's a, yeah. this, it, it it's is. a sight. It doesn't have a sound. In fact, it's telling you that do not pronounce. A vowel sound there. That's where the the all you all you pronounce is the consonant above it, consonant and then above you it, right. stop. It's like a stop sign. Correct. Is that is that accurate, or does is there more of a sound that goes with it? It's a it's I'll I, I'll show with on like I said in a slide with letters so you can see it. Okay. It's just showing the stuff like this, you're not going to understand it. You, I think when they have the actual word words next to it and you see it, then it'll oh, make yeah, more yeah. sense. Oh yeah, that's smart. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that makes good As sense. As opposed to that. Excellent. I just want, but yeah, there's some there's some truth to what you're saying. <laughs> okay, cool. It's, it's a, but there are sometimes it does make a sound. Right, got it. Which I will, which I'll have show. But every single one has. I just wanted now to focus on these shapes to see what they look like and try to make the read it and see like you know like try to do what an art. Like how would you explain to them? Let's say well what an art, what a, what a hard would be, what a soft would be. Let's see if you how you would do it. Say it again. On which one? On any of them. How, what would it be a hard and a soft? Like in your opinion. Let's see. I want to see what your thoughts of those are. So like like here. So in. Like the let's use the bottom two. Take one letter in the word I'm saying. See, so take a Hebrew letter that you would say, like let's say Aleph. Okay. Right, and it would have the the first the the the, the ah hard, and so, one with the stuff. How would you say it when you read it? Well, see, for yeah. me, for me, I'm still stuck with English because all I remember is hard and soft in English would be the a like like hate or ah like cap. So you have the A make an A or A, but you don't have the same thing here. You See, have, to me, it'd be you have Aleph A and all. It'd be A, A, Aleph, and Aleph. That's how it would be with Got these it. two. Oh, See. Aleph and – say it again. This would be the A uh sound. Well, I thought the bottom one, the bottom right one would be the A. Uh. No, that's – you see, they're similar, but this is the A uh sound also. It's not just A. Uh. Wow. 
Okay. It's, it's more just, confusing than I thought. Exactly. This is, it depends on what letters. Like Aleph, which, like Aleph, Lamed, Pei, right? Would be Aleph, right? Right. If you had this under it, it'd be Aleph. <clears throat> okay. So See, if I was, if you were to ask me Aleph? how to pronounce these, going and like Aleph. all three yeah. rows, it's like Aleph, but like not Aleph. It's like Aleph. The way I would pronounce these myself, this would be Aleph when it would be with this, with it without the sun, without the half plus sign. The, if you had the three letters. The, the the vowel sounds that I see as I read this across, not going down, but going across right. from left to right, would be Correct. a, 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 e. And then, yeah, the, then, the, then right. the silent, and then eh, like egg, like there's three eggs there, eh, and then <laughs> right. ooh, it says ou, like like owl, but it look, but I would say that that's a ooh, like a shirook. Right. So that would be a ooh, like you got hit in the gut with the ball. Right. So ooh. ooh, and then o goes over your head, so that vowel goes o, like over the top, and then right. uh, like up and down. Yeah. So a a a e sh. Eh, ooh, oh, uh. That's how I've learned them. Yeah. Don't get confused, people. This is just for you to see the sound. It's going to be, we're going to basically, I'm going to get into more detail one by one of how all these work. Okay, on the perfect. Because I've got I to learn want, these myself. Yeah. Because right now you guys might be hearing this and be like, whoa, what the hell's going on? You know, <laughs> what the heck is going on? Sorry, I don't, I don't hear, um, <laughs> I don't hear what's going on. Everything sounds so confusing. What are all these little dots? But don't, 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 don't get like uh, drawn off by that. This is just like more visual to see what they look like. And we're gonna now that you see all this, the same thing with the letters, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each letter with every single um vowel under them to see what sounds it would make. Because I think going in that path will help you guys way, way easier than just like trying to study the actual shapes. I Got think it. with the letter, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Make any sense to you? That, that does. That's good. I like that. Good game plan. Yep. All right. Whew. Yes. <laughs> hey Valerie says, I see. Uh, a lot of rewatching this in my future. Hey, mine too, probably. <laughs> very nice, very nice. It's good stuff right there. Cool. Yeah, so, if you guys have any questions, I want to stop with. I just want to, this is the main thing. I want you guys yep. to look at these. Awesome. If you need this chart, I mean, you have it here. You can take a screenshot of it, or I could send it to you guys in an email if you ask for it. It's up I'll to put you it. Guys. I'll put it back up in the center uh, without any kind of artwork around it, yeah. so you guys can have a fuller. Take a screenshot of that right now. Oh, let me let me zoom out a little bit. Cutting off some of the yeah. frame. Oh no, you're good. Yep. Oh, I also I have another thing I want to ask you guys from whoever's here. So I created another channel for you guys, but I don't realize I can't make any community posts there because I'm not monetized over there. So what would be a good time for you guys who need more help during the day, let's say, like for you guys to have some type of a private class between a few of you, a few of you people? What would be a good time for people? That's what I want to know. If you guys could just think about it and message me on my email. Let me know that. That would right. be great. Just that's for you guys, actually. Very that's good. All. Very good. So uh, the chart William showed versus this chart just now shows different Nikudot sounds. Okay. Um, really? Hold on. I'm going to look at that myself. Hang on. That's a good. That's a good point. In which case, okay. So shva. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. See, yeah, the, just, see the chart. That, that, the, 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 oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to show you the chart so I could tell you what I'm looking at. So this this is how I learned them right here. So starting from here, the shva. It's like again, it's kind of like a stop sound, like a sh, like a silent, or maybe a subtle eh. Okay, so from from right to left, kamats makes it ah like a heavy ah sound, and then patak is like a shorter ah like like father, and then yeah, and then segol makes eh right the egg like egg. Now I don't know how these others work, like the one I'm hovering now. I've, I never really learned how the ones with the shva and the kamats and the shva and the patak work and the shva and the segol. I've never learned those, but the, the sound of them together, like this is the a, this is the e, this is a, this is the e h. It's like hey, how you doing? You know, so it does say <laughs> a, and then the e e sound e. Uh, this is kibbutz, but it does show more like ooh, like 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 uh, like boot on this chart. What do you I have something for them, by the way. This is perfect. I'm going to give everyone should have a, a Okay, a uh, copy let, let me go back to your up. screen. Let me let me pull your screen back up. I don't know if you'll be able to read it here, but this is everyone needs this. They will probably be able to. Let me let me zoom in myself and see if that'll help. Oh, this, yeah, I can zoom in. Just hold it right there. I'll zoom in myself. Yeah, because this explains. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. Where, where did you yeah. get this from? Don't worry, I'll give it to you. You can give it to everybody. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's a little, yeah, 
That's good. For you, it's, it's not blurry when you have it yourself, but yeah, in the right. stream, I could see it being blurry. But this is perfect. This goes through all the actual, the name, pronunciation, it even goes zoom, through the vowels. Zoom in to like 100% on yours real fast. See okay. here's make, make see it, it. No, no, you're at 214. Go back down to 100%. Right about there, it's good. Yeah, right there. Hold it right there. And now let me uh, let me just, let me pull this up. This will be easier to see. It's more clear that way. Oh yeah, yes, that's more clear on my side too. So okay, yeah, that that's a good tool right there. Is yeah. there some place they can go to where they can print that off? Can you? Uh, can you um, I'll send you. I'll send. The, I can send. The, I'll put a link up for it. And I'll put it online. I'll oh, do it. Good idea. Good idea. Cool. I'll, I'll make. I'll I'll put a link up and I'll make it in. Uh, I'll make like a comment on the video. I guess in this one. Excellent. Very and I'll cool. give it to you. Actually, I'll give it to you. You put in the description. Okay. Once you can edit the description, right? After the class is over. Yeah. What do you? Is it going to be like a link to get? To yeah, you? I'm gonna send. I'm gonna put a link on like you know send space. Oh yeah, and I'll put it. Yeah, like that's that. good. Exactly. And I'll put you it put inside in the, the video description. Link. And I'll put good a few call. of them in there just so they can have as their own, you know. Yep. Their own personal... That. That my friend will work. Yes, sir. I'll put a few. I'll put two or three of them in. This way, they when the when the class is next, they'll have an idea of what. You know, if they want to go a yep. little further and just read this on their own, they can. Okay. That sounds like a plan. I like yep. it. I like it. Well, that was fun. Uh, the pop quiz thing was kind of fun, even for me. That's like, cause I don't. Yeah, I think we're going to do that after every time we move forward to the next thing. Okay. I think it's a good idea to have that. A little quiz about everything we did for the, that, like two, every two weeks, we should have a quiz on what we did over, like a small one to make sure everyone is ready to move forward. You're the boss. This is your show. You're the boss. <laughs> but I hear that. That's awesome. Well, cool, man. Well, that was a lot of fun. Good job, uh, Joseph. And we will. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week, same time, same place. You guys, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single post or when I go live. And uh, that was awesome. Andre, thank you for your help in YouTube chat. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thank you all for tuning in. A lot of, a lot of viewers tonight. That was really good. Looking forward yep. to this. Okay, guys, y'all yep. have a great week, and we will see you soon. Peace out, everybody. Shalom.